Hi, everyone. Let me take my glary glasses off. Recognize me, your Skype coach. This is Hi, the Julie. first <laughs> Seek and Send. Um, Seek and Send, which is a new Skype tool for Skype marketing, Skype lead generation, Skype networking. Um, that this is the first Q and A for this Skype tool. So uh, thank you to Joe for getting it started and and starting to have some questions. I never got the questions, but that's okay. We can wing it. That's what I was going to do the other day anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, when I'm uh, answering your questions or giving a presentation, I did make a couple of short five-minute videos during. I just did a test with I am for the first time ever in 6.13 version of Skype the, the newest desktop that I know of I was doing tests with 6.11 thinking that was current for the desktop API so this is what this is about uh, this is basically a Q&A um, but let me introduce um, the new Skype tool Seek and Send and um, according to before I share my screen let me say this Google Hangouts keeps changing. <laughs> so far, better. But this one thing, um, it, it may just be temporary. It may have been a bug the other day. But it seems like with Google Hangouts, you can only share your screen once. If you turn off your screen share, you can't turn it on again. I tried twice um, yesterday. Anyway, so I'm going to start sharing my screen. Say goodbye to the Julie face. Bye. See you on Skype. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to turn on the screen share and just start answering questions. So if you have questions, go ahead and put them in. Uh, should I have you put them? Go ahead and put them in this room. There's a or in Skype, but I should have one place to look. So um, probably chat room's easier. Yeah, right so there. so there's a chat up at the top. In the very, if you put your mouse over to the left, there's a bunch of menus, and you click chat at the top, and you can put your questions in there. I guess I better open it. Yes, indeed. Hello, Lauren. Okay. Hello there. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're going to start. Um, if everybody would mute while I do the presentation parts and and. Um, yes, carry on. Thank you and answer questions and then I'll open it up to questions okay so here goes the screen share one per hangout is what my experience is so far full screen that one yeah okay now get rid of the echo by moving the thingy and here is Skype Seek and Sand and I just did a test now the big issue for me, the big thing that I want to share before we take questions, other than what Seek and Send is, uh, which is basically a lead generation tool, um, by searching keywords and the word Skype ID or Skype something, I'm assuming, it's definitely Skype ID. Um, I'm going to hit OK. The invitations were sent. I'm sort of jumping all over the place. I didn't plan this. So we'll do this in a more organized way another time. But the main thing I wanted to test was that Seek and Send works. OK, let's back up. First of all, in December of 2013, which was month before last, I'm popping, sorry, we found out that desktop API tools OK, were um, not going to work anymore with Skype, that Microsoft and Skype were going to not support the desktop API. So I've been doing tests with you know, other desktop API tools, uh, like Message Magic. Are you guys seeing my screen OK, by the way? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes Thank no you, problem. everybody. So, um, OK. So I just ran, I've been doing tests with 6.11, which I thought was the current version. Okay, so far, even Message Magic seems to be working. I still want to do some more tests. But yesterday, I did a test with, with Seek and Send um, with 6.11 the other day, made a video, didn't finish editing it yet. And then I realized when I was describing it, probably to you, Joe, I can't quite remember who it was, I realized 
there's two parts of Seek and Send. One does not even require Skype. Of course, that will keep working. You search the internet with, for a keyword. Find targeted leads that way, Skype IDs that way. So that's great. We know that's going to work. But can we, send, can we add people to our Skype? Will it connect to Skype now that the desktop API doesn't work? Good news is I just tested not just 6.11, but 6.13. Very excited about this. I get excited about Skype things, some of you know. With, <laughs> first of all, the question is, is the API still here? And it is. Now we have some muting needing to happen in the background. Hey, Tamara's here. Welcome, Tamara. See, so yeah, I just mute yourself while I'm doing the presentation part of this, then we'll take Q&A. First of all, the API is still here. That is amazing. Okay, in 6.13. Options, advanced. Oh, wait, wait, what was uh, You find your version under help and about. 6.13. I just did a test, and I'm going to show you the videos of this test um, in a moment. Each of them are about five minutes. And it still works. It sounds like you might be on the live event as well, uh, the streaming event, Tamara. You might want to just mute your mic. Thank you. <laughs> and do one or the other. Anyway, <laughs> if you're hearing an echo, you don't want to be in the live event and the streaming event because there will be a delay, and I'm sure it will be quite hard to understand me. <laughs> okay, so that's exciting. Current, the most current, de de the most current version of desktop Skype still has a desktop API. That's question number one. And number two is, do these tools like Seek and Send still work? And the answer is yes. Now, with Skype Seek and Send, like I said, there are two parts of it. And I'm just going to show this video. And you guys, please tell me if you can hear this video because um, I'm not sure if you can or not if I just play it. So here goes. This is the test to see if the Skype part works. Can you hear that? Probably hard to tell if you're hearing me the live or very low. Well, some of this is what I just said. So can you hear that okay? No sound on my side. Uh, well, I'll just repeat myself. Nope, I also want to it. talk about this clownfish. There's a new clownfish, and it's built on the it's built on the Skype kit, which is amazing. So we'll do that later, because we're going to focus on um, not the desktop API, if they ever do take it away. But we're going to focus on Seek and Send. So what I'm showing here, and you can see that in the video, on uh, when you go to subscribe to my Seek and Send Skype room, you can see the video that shows this. He's got over 500 businesses already listed, but you can put anything you want in that search field. So you put Skype ID and in quotes, and then you put whatever you want to search for. It could be keyword, or it could be the name of a business. Um, I'm going to experiment with Skype name and Skype handle instead of Skype ID. But this is just going to demonstrate how I'm searching for Skype ID in quotes and then business in quotes. And I had searched five pages. And you can see the Google results. So this is the part where you don't, it doesn't even require Skype. You don't even have to have Skype running. It just goes out and searches Skype ID. So that's, of course, going to continue to work. So once again, I'm going to repeat myself. My task was to make sure that Seek and Send would still work with current Skype. I know it can work with older Skype versions so far. But I wanted to test it with current Skype because my test was 6.11 with Message Magic, which is also a desktop API tool, are very promising. It seemed like everything was working. I want to do more tests. And again, I'm showing my Skype version here. Or no, what am I going to show? 
about Skype under help gives you your Skype version. So I'm showing 6.13. I'm in 6.13 like for a little over an hour for the first time ever <laughs> doing this test just before this hangout. Okay, can, so none of you can hear my video in the background? You're all wonderfully muted, except Joe. <laughs> oh no, wait a minute. Can't tell, he's got a white shirt. <laughs> okay, so this saved the IDs to a text file. Text files can also be turned into CSV files, so this is interchangeable with other Skype tools, <laughs> by the way, that allow importing CSV files. Some of you know what, which Skype tool I'm talking about. OK, so I'm saving the file. I'm calling it business and uh, search six pages and uh, I'm going to use ID in the front because I want to play with the Skype ID in quotes, uh, trying Skype name or Skype handle or just Skype. Let's see what kind of results we're going to get besides Skype ID. So that's how I save that file. Let's see, what am I talking about now? Ah, so I'm making sure that the API still exists. Tools, Options, Advanced, Manager the Program's Access, and the Manage API Access still exists. I have it set up to allow. Some of you who have taken my message magic training know that I want you to know how to navigate here through the Skype menus instead of just relying on the yellow pop-up to allow access to connect uh, the tool, in this case Seek and Send, Skype Seek and Send with, with Skype. So it's usually pretty easy to connect, but to, go, to know how to go through the menu items in Skype, tools, options, advanced, manage other programs access to Skype, that will give you access to the actual API, I mean give you, yeah, open the, up the API access control instead of just the yellow pop-up which when you first go to connect API tools like Seek and Send, you just click Allow and it, in this yellow banner that show, pops up in your Skype. That's still working with current Skype, actually 6.13. I'm sorry if my voice is buzzy. I'm trying to make it less buzzy. Okay, so here's part two. This is only five minutes. And I'm showing that I used, this is a test I did with 6.11 and another desktop API tool, which is called Message Magic. And I actually sent this broadcast to uh, all the people that are in my many Message Magic Skype rooms. Um, I'm trying to resize it so you can see it. That was, those were two broadcasts. Hi, Julie, turned to the first name tag into a first name. This is Skype 6.11 with Message Magic and a broadcast test to people in the Skype rooms. Good news folks, Message Magic still works. So now we're going to test Seek and Sam. Not just with 6.11, but we're going to actually test it with 6.13. And not just the searching for Skype IDs, I sure hope you guys aren't hearing the audio in the background. <laughs> I'm going to lower it to make sure. But also, I mean, this particular feature of searching for Skype IDs, we know works. But this particular section about adding people in Skype, you import it with this little thing. You import that file that you saved with this little folder. And then you click Import, and then it loads. It's 100%, and it says, Oh, I'm behind my video now. Um, what I just was showing there was, I'll just show you guys in person. In, in person. <laughs> um, what I did was, uh, because I didn't see, I, I, I don't think I missed, maybe I missed it, but I didn't see an option to check. Other, other places in Seek and Send give you an option to check off 
you know, check off or on the people that you want to send a message to. But um, just reloading that file automatically sent the contact request in mass. So first of all, yay, it works with version 6.13, okay, which is amazing. Um, but I did feel that I needed to go into this text file that I saved all those IDs and delete the ones that looked funny like download and I can't remember. There were some uh, things in there that didn't look like Skype IDs. These all looked like Skype IDs. So I deleted those in the text file, then loaded it. So that's a little advanced tip of in, until he fixes that. I think that might be a good idea. <laughs> now I'll continue the video and then we'll open it up for questions and answers. We've got another four minutes here. I'm showing in Skype here that it actually did work. Hello, please add me to your contacts. Now it's sending, you can see all these gray ones. These are the and one person added me so far. Actually, I think two people added me. Um, yeah, I showed this person adding me. Always, if you get the question, who are you, which you will get, you always want to acknowledge you don't know me. I don't know you, you don't, we don't know each other. I saw you, and just don't tell them you're using a tool, but tell them that I saw you on, on the web is what that's supposed to say. I saw you on the web. Go away, silly bar. Um, and with your Skype ID about business. Um, people are searching Google for, you can do that on your own, but you know, the benefit, so that's just a normal thing you can do even without a tool, but the benefit of Seek and Send is that it collects all the IDs and then allows a masked contact. So I wanted to make sure that the Skype connection part, like mass adding, is, is still working. Now what I'm probably talking about here, I turned the volume down so I'm not sure. Hi, Joe. Anyway, it's better, yeah, it's better to do this with a prospecting Skype account and not your main Skype account because if you mass add a, enough people that think it's odd that you're contacting them because they don't realize that that can happen, <laughs> although these people should because they put their Skype ID out there on the internet, so they should be better, but still, I would do this with, and there's another person adding me back. Um, if you do this in a prospecting Skype account, you're going to be safer and you're not going to break your current Skype. So still what I teach in, in the 10 day challenge uh, is true. Um, it would be better to mass add, and this is in a follow up series in, uh, if you join my, on Skype, if you join my Seek and Send support and training Skype room. Um, I'll remind you about that. It's better to use uh, an older version of Skype so you don't break your current Skype and it's better to uh, use a prospecting Skype account so you don't lose <laughs> your main Skype account. Um, or you can just do a few at a time that look promising. Okay, now I'm saying there are some tools that do allow broadcasting without the Skype desktop API because who knows, it could happen. I suppose Skype, have ne they've never done that before. Message, ma I mean, uh, Microsoft isn't so good at it either, but both of those companies have not been very good at going back and cleaning up their stuff, you know, when they change it. So they keep old stuff in the menus. This may work forever, but we don't know. The Skype desktop API may someday disappear. So we want to be able to know which tools, Skype tools, will allow us to continue to mass add and broadcast messages all at once using permission Skype messaging. <laughs> I just said that I say that to uh, one of our live attendees here a lot. Um, permission Skype methods, marketing, per permission Skype messaging is a term I coined. Uh, so you want to use that, but using these tools um, allows you to scale your business building on Skype. So you still want to rely, it's true with any social media, you want to build relationships, you want to offer value, you don't want to spam people, you want to get permission. So some of these tools, I teach you how to do that with the older tools, how to use permission methods. 
but and how to build permission Skype lists right within your Skype contact list. They've changed the name of categories to Skype lists, which is what I've been doing for years. Build your Skype lists within Skype. And there's ways of automating that with certain tools. But some tools, if the desktop, to go back to my point, some tools, if they actually do ever remove support of the desktop API, OK, again, tools, options, advanced, manage other programs access. If they ever do actually remove, this is amazing, it's still here. If they it do actually remove it or make it somehow stop functioning, then I do have solutions and I will continue to look for solutions. And there is another kind of API that that Skysponder and now I found out the new Clownfish uses Clownfish Evolution. So that is actually uh, unbelievable. I thought Skysponder was the last Skype kit license that was caring about building Skype tools. But uh, Clownfish Evolution. Clownfish is on Google Plus. And um, I've shared it. If you look at my post page, I've shared and commented so you can see where I comment and like and and things like that. So you can gain access to that. It's totally free. Skype Seek and Send to answer some of your questions is, you know, this is the actual tool. And the icon is actually this really dark guy. I changed the icon. <laughs> I like it. I don't think of it like that. I think of it like this. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's a one-off price of 50 bucks, 49 something, 99 or something. And that's one-off. It's not monthly. Okay. So uh, if you want to know the cost of other tools and how they compare, I give trainings on that because the answer is never short. <laughs> you know, there's now Skype versions that come into the picture as far as what tools will work. Um, there's all kinds of functions. This doesn't do what this does. This doesn't do what this does. Neither of them do what this does. You know, <laughs> so and some of them, and you know, most of them all send broadcasts. This Clownfish is a translator. Pamela has a lot of features. Um, one of which is um, auto reply. When somebody Skypes you, one single reply that goes out. This is a this is a Skype auto responder where you can set up a follow up series. Seek and Send allows you to go out on the internet and find targeted leads, and Message Magic does so many things. It tries to do all of that, but it's anyway. Comparing the tools is a whole nother topic. Um, if you have questions about that, I'd be glad to answer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the three tabs of Seek and Send. Here's where you do the searching. Here's where you import a file of IDs that you've saved. And here's where you send messages to. And this is kind of <clears throat> this is kind of nice. You can send messages to your Skype lists in Skype if you build those lists. One of the things that I want to Think about your questions. I'm going to ask for questions in a second here. One of the things that um, it took a long time for Message Magic to work. <laughs> um, in fact, I don't have XSky on here, but XSky was the first one to solve it, although XSky is questionable whether it's working anymore or not. For most people, it's not, but I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, it's going to be like $300 part of a, another program. but. Uh, Anyway, uh, this allows you to send to your Skype lists, the list that you build within your Skype. So that is excellent that the guy did that. Frank, Frank Andrews did that. You build these lists by hand. Okay? So I ask, I build a Skype funnel. Okay? And I ask permission. Okay? I make new friends. I follow up with them. I do something to identify who they are. I put them in lists. And I ask permission. I put them in permission lists. And I ask, OK, can we share something or another? Fill in the blank. If they say yes, they go in a permission list. OK, so you can still build your lists within Skype. Skysponder does that for you. You can do that with Message Magic. And now we can do that with Seek and Send. 
which is great. Where's my second step? So this over here on the me message to users allows you to, these are all of my lists. <laughs> I do follow my advice. I build lists within Skype, but it's a little bit tedious. But it's great if you do that. If you have a team, if you have a list of prospects, if you have a list of people that are, have certain skills that are resources, those are great Skype lists to build. You can send a broadcast message to all of them at once. So yes, Seek and Send does broadcasting. And it's 50 bucks once. So I am ready to, it searches the internet for keywords. It allows you to send messages. It allows you to import, and basically import is the mass ad that doesn't send, uh, it doesn't send, um, a custom message, which is what I always preferred. It sends you, it sends them all. This is a contact request, a mass contact request. So you can't, he doesn't have a way yet for you to customize that. Maybe he doesn't know about it, but we're in touch. I'm in touch with the owner, so I'll give him that feedback. So you could then do what I used to teach back in 2008 when Message Magic first launched. You could then send a custom message saying why you're contacting them, which is a really good idea. <laughs> Okay, so Joe just rejoined the video call, which is good timing. Please, everyone, open everything up to questions. Okay, and I can't turn the screen share off, so what should I share? <laughs> I saved the file here. Take your take your uh, self off of mute if you have a question. I will also look for your questions in the text chat. Let's see. Let's see if we have any questions here. Can Seek and Send do anything that Message Magic can't? Can Seek and Send? The, why did you write it that way, Lawrence? <laughs> Let's see. Can Seek and Send do anything that Message? Yes. Yes, I got it. Thank you. Wrapped my brain around that question. Yes, Seek and Send can do something that Message Magic can't. That's an excellent question. So while Message Magic has added a lot of new features, including searching the internet, you can search in Skype and find basically hundreds of thousands and even millions of Skype IDs and, and build them in a database, but then you have to keyword search them through that database. What Seek and Send does and what Message Magic started to do with YouTube is you can go out onto the internet and search for Skype IDs with a keyword. Okay, so while Message Magic has that with YouTube, it's a little not friendly, not user friendly, you know, MO for good old. We love Message Magic, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of clunky the way it works. It's not, it doesn't work that well. And, and this, when it searches, if I put, uh, we did business, give me another keyword. Uh, how about social media? Or social network. Let's see, social network. Well, did I spell it right? So we'll do um, get page, and it goes out on the internet, and it will find it will find, I mean, you could, it, this is actually, I don't know whether this is Internet Explorer here, but it actually within the Seek and Send application, it will find you the listing just as if you were looking at Google. And you could, you could click through, it will, it will open up in, in uh, I don't know if that's a good one, but anyway. Well, that didn't work. Okay, let's, let's do Get Page again. Okay. And I guess what I've done is open in a new window, and you can go and read those, which is kind of interesting. You can't do any of that in Message Magic, not easily. You can see the, U the, the YouTube URL, so you'd have to copy and paste. The, it's a little hard to get, but you can, if you know how to work Message Magic, you can get the URL to the video where it found someone and go to the video and read it. This is all right here within the application so you can click through. I guess you'd right click and open a new window because clicking right on it didn't work. 
and it would open up in uh, probably your default browser, I think. Maybe it opened up another Internet Explorer, I'm not sure. Anyway, so that definitely searching for targeted people right on the Internet is something that, of course, you can do by hand. It's something that a few Skype tools do, uh, scrapers they call them. I don't like the term, but um, <laughs> Skype ID finders, I call them. There's a few tools that have come out in the last two years, I would say, that do that. Um, I like the way this one works, uh, Seek and Send. Um, I need to compare it to one called ID Puller, which is a few dollars more than Seek and Send. I think it's 57 or 59 instead of 49. Seek and Send is 49. Um, ID Puller, there was, I mean, at least I was invited to at least two or three others that do the same thing. So Seek and Send is the new toy on the block and um, the new Skype toy on the block. And I like it. I like the way it works. Um, save IDs and then go over and load them, you know, choose the file. It's a text file, again, could be changed to a CSV file easily. Those of you that are familiar with computers and file types know that you can convert a .text into a .csv, making it very, very useful with other Skype tools if need be. But again, both message magic and Seek and Send and ID Pillar and almost all scrapers except one, which I have to play with, and Joe has played with it, I believe, and didn't like it. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything because I, I have a different perspective from everybody. So I have to go play with uh, different Skype tools, different ID pullers, and compare them um, and, uh, and you know see which ones I like, compare with the price do some kind of a blog post and video about that so you guys that are subscribed to my blogs and my YouTube channel good idea to do that um, can uh, you know see a comparison to these things but so these are scrapers that go out onto the internet and you search uh, basically either in in Google or in YouTube or in Facebook and uh, message magic added YouTube doesn't work so well. The other scrapers have uh, different things. I know some, I think um, ID Puller does YouTube, and um, I'm pretty sure it also just does the internet. It does more than YouTube, ID Puller. But I have to go play with that some more. Okay, so that was the first question. Thank you, Lawrence, for that question. And Lawrence says, mine says 6.11. He's talking about a Skype version. Even after I check for the latest version, it says I have the latest. Yeah, a lot of times you can't get the latest version. I have no idea why, but again, keep your older versions of Skype. I've always said that, but now it's becoming even more critical to keep your older versions of Skype. If you need to know how to do that, I teach you that as a free member of CUOnSkype.com. Shameless plug, hopefully useful plug, CUOnSkype.com. Um, is my membership site and uh, if somebody would type that into the chat I can click it <laughs> and you can see what it looks like but anyways free members have part of day one of the 10 day challenge uh, access to that so um, yeah so there's a lot about Skype versions and, and using Skype older Skype versions the fancy stuff which you sometimes need a Skype coach for is in the upgraded version so far my products that are worth double digits maybe triple digits you know like my message magic 10 day challenge um, very useful for Skype version training and using different Skype accounts and different Skype versions at the same time even if you don't use message magic um, probably worth $197 you can still gain access to all of that for $77 a year or $7 a month <laughs> I need to raise that price so anyway okay are there any other questions I'm gonna go down the chat looking for more questions here uh... Do I sound bossy, Goran? Lost my internet for a few minutes. Okay. Um, if that's all of the Skype questions, are there any other Skype questions about Seek and Send or even the desktop API and different Skype versions? Um, 
If there's not, then I will do my Windows 8 announcement and warning. <laughs> but just kidding. <laughs> anyway, um, think of if you have any more questions about using um, these tools, especially Skype Seek and Send for your Skype networking and your Skype marketing, your Skype list building, as I like to call it. Um, permission marketing, permission methods, building targeted, relevant, permission-based lists that are responsive. And uh, yeah, if there's any more questions, ask. While I'm waiting for any more questions, I want to let people know that if you are planning on getting a new computer, you might want to think twice before you get the new operating system, Windows 8, on it, especially 8.1. In case you love Skype and like to moderate or create Skype rooms, or you use these desktop API tools, or even the Skype kit tools, like SkySponder, um, my warning is if you maintain your Windows 8, your Vista, your XP, because if you love Skype, Skype rooms and Skype tools, you might just want to make sure that you do not have Windows 8 <laughs> to use with your Skype. <laughs> um, we found with some of the desktop API tools that we can't get around 8.1, but it works on Windows 8. We found that you can't get some of the older versions on 8.1. You can get 6.0 on Windows 8, not 8.1. 6.0, actually I just heard the 6.1, but I have to test it. 6.0 is the last version of Skype. We're on 6.13 or 6.11 now. Is the 6.0 is the last version of Skype that will allow you to fully moderate a Skype room, whether you moderate Skype rooms as a moderator for the Skype room owner, or whether you create Skype rooms, you cannot use current Skype. It will not work. Okay? You need to, I don't recommend you downgrade, I recommend that you add <laughs> uh, Verg, older versions of Skype. Keep your older versions of Skype. Learn how at my membership site at cuonskype.com underneath Skype versions and also on the free part of the day one. And the paid part of day one is only $77 a year or $7 a month. Um, I said that quickly because I need to raise the right. Okay, so Windows 8 is the big warning. Okay, don't plan on using these tools and moderating or creating and owning and being able to moderate your own Skype rooms with Windows 8, especially 8.1. Now, I do am looking for people with a Windows 8 operating system that I can do some tests with because I understand you can skill, still download 6.11 and now we know 6.13 even works. With Windows operating system, they pre-install a Skype version of their own. It's not a desktop version of Skype. You are. It's it just if if you are none of those people, then you're probably not here or watching this. But <laughs> still, um, there is some hope for those people that just use Skype and they don't like the way their Skype works with Windows 8 operating system. You can download the desktop version of Skype and you will probably get 6.13 or 6.11. And the good news is these still have the desktop API and they still work with some of the functions I've tested with Message Magic and Seek and Send. All of the functions of Seek and Send because there's limited functions here. There's a lot of functions here. But anyway, so that's my Windows 8 warning. We have to test things with Windows 8 and a desktop version of 6.13. I could, I would imagine it will still work, but there's, it's just clunky. <laughs> uh, some of the things you do in Skype will reopen up the pre-installed version of Skype on Windows 8. So you have, you know, it's kind of very, very different kind of Skype. It, they basically with Windows 8, 
they wanted to it to be mobile friendly like all of the mobile Skypes and the smartphones and the tablets and all of that and they dumbed Skype down and it's really hard to use in fact I have a new Skype room where I am accumulating mobile Skype Skype tips when people act because now I am actually starting to get mobile Skype questions um, after all these years mostly people have kept me in my area of comfort with their Skype questions and that's desktop API but mobile Skype questions are coming if anybody has questions about mobile Skype applications um, I don't I'm still learning them but I will go find the answer as your Skype coach and Skype expert so if there aren't any more questions we will be done and I think we might have one thanks Tamara um, I got desktop 3.13 the app stinks is that a mobile? Windows 8? Um, yeah. Yeah, not desktop. Right. That's probably the pre-installed. It's more like the mobile one. So they're trying to make Windows 8 look at work just like mobile, right? So the Skype is just like mobile. It's totally dumbed down. Really hard to get around. Well, you should see the complaints with it. <laughs> but, you know, anyway. What's that, Tamara? You can come off the mic and talk. It's okay. Hey, we're just finishing up, Carrie. Did you invite anyone <laughs> from our team to help them with their Skype marketing? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can encourage them to take the recording because we're going to finish here in, in about uh, nine minutes. Okay, so it's the app that comes with it that stinks. Right. Yeah. It basically, Skype is an app on Windows 8 and it's pre-installed and you can download the desktop version of Skype from Skype.com with Windows 8 but the desktop is the same as Vista yeah 3.1 desktop version of Skype would be really old I mean I'm exploring 3 I've been using and training 3.8 for a long time but um, uh, in fact, 3.2 had some benefit. I'm not drawing it. I think 3.2, I have to do some tests with people on Windows 8 with uh, old version 3, desktop version 3.2. Okay, i skip Windows 8 and 9. <laughs> There's a Windows 9. Um, yeah, Lauren says he's going to skip Windows 8 and 9 and go right to Windows 12. <laughs> I don't like Windows 8. I hear that over and over again. People don't like Windows 8. They certainly don't like the Skype. Can't play my games on it. It's Windows 8 is just like, you know, mobile operating system. You know, like a, on a smartphone. That's what they're trying to do. So it really dumbs it down. People that really power compute, probably not a good idea to get Windows 8. Any questions about Seek and Sand to get back on topic before we scoodly doot I can oh one of the things I wanted to show from my browser where's my browser multiple monitors are great it's just you gotta find stuff okay so here's my browser and uh, here's my Skype directory I wanted to show you my uh, that I have a Skype seek and send Skype room it is powered by Skysponder um, and if you want to see my other Skype rooms and Skype lists to support your different interests that are in common with mine, which is usually Skype related and usually business related and social media related, um, you can click Julie Wolf Skype Coach here and you'll see all of them. But this is my page to subscribe to join the Skype room to get support and training for Skype see consent. Again, it is a one-off price of 50 bucks and a few cents less. And um, I have a, a follow-up series that's, that once you join and subscribe to this list, you um, get tips on how to use Skype Seek Consent. When you're done getting those tips, you simply unsubscribe. Again, there will be links for your subscriptions under here, available subscriptions so that you can subscribe to any of my other lists that are of interest or will just remain Skype contacts 
and remind me to add you to one of my lists so I follow up at least once a year with you. Anyway, <laughs> I'm trying to be good and at least send people happy birthday messages once a year. But um, one of the things I encourage is, you know, if you're building Skype contacts in your Skype, not just Skype lists, but Skype contacts, um, you might as well have know why you're connected and have an easier way to follow up with them. That's the purpose of Skype lists. Even if you don't use any tools, you can organize your contacts in Skype lists. But you have to do it by hand. Okay, so I teach how to build a Skype funnel, moving someone as a new friend to you know follow up with them as a friend to see how what you have in common, why you're connected, tag them or list them in the, in a different list here in a different contact list contact, contact list, and then eventually move them to hopefully a permission list where you have their permission to send them information on a topic. That is the most responsive, targeted, 100% deliverable kind of social media list. They talk about the money's in the list and you know that I disagree with that. The money is in the connections and relationships you have with the people on your list. I've never stopped saying that in all these years, Tamara. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Build your list. The money is in the relationship. It's in the with the people on the list. So use if you're build if you're adding Skype contacts, and I know that uh, Jim is. <laughs> make sure that you use this feature, contacts, contact lists, and build lists that you can follow up with. Now mine is like over the top. I have to weed them down every once in a while. The Skype tools are great for that because I can save them in CSV files using Message Magic. Um, don't know if there's a way to do that with Seek and Send. Um, but anyway, if there's any other questions, we have four more minutes. Do join the Skype room for support to get more information and my link for Seek and Send. There is uh, an affiliate program, but they are working on the link. So I'd rather have you in. They're working on how the affiliate uh, linking thing, you know, setting you up as affiliates works. So I don't even know if my affiliate link is working. Um, so I'd like to have you in my Skype room uh, or at least on my Skype list. I'll make a seek and send list uh, in my Skype. Uh, so anyways, come and join my room to get more information and to get my link. And information about how to get a link. I just added that in the follow-up series, Skype follow-up. It's possible with SkySponder. <laughs> Shameless plug for multiple Skype tools in this Seek and Send Q&A. But anyways, join the Skype room. And if there aren't any more questions, one more check. We will end. You still have to have the list. Yeah, the, the money's not in the list. It's in the relationship and the quality of content that you send to that list. Uh, but you still have to have the list. That's a good point, Lawrence. Thank you. And Tamara says, I know it's all about connecting with the list. So so, uh, so best to be yourself. Yeah, you want to be yourself. Absolutely be yourself. Absolutely. Whoever you are. Some people will like you and your style and some people won't. But be yourself. It's the best way to be. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so see you all on Skype and in my Skype lists. Is Carrie still here? Yep. Hi, Carrie. Any questions? Julie, are you still here? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so that's it. We're pretty much at the top of the hour. I know I started 10 minutes late, so if, if there's suddenly a swarm of questions, anything Skype related, especially so you can send, let me know. Um, I will put my link to this room, in fact I have put the link to this room, um, it, to join Skype Seek and Send Skype room uh, below the video on YouTube and also uh, below the event uh, on my Google Plus post page. So you can join this room and, and get more information about Seek and Send and my support and training with it. Here is a perfect example. Oh, we have one more possible question or at least a statement from Lawrence. I sent a Skype broadcast. Oh, I love it. Lawrence is going to emphasize the importance of building Skype lists, I think. Let's see, here's a perfect example. 
I sent a Skype broadcast on Friday, got about 75 opt-ins. Yes, Skype this building works. Say it, and say it with me. Come on, come off the mic, Lawrence. <laughs> mute, unmute that mic. Okay, so building Skype this works. Uh, he got about 75 opt-ins. Crazy. Three. <laughs> Tell us, Lawrence. <laughs> Oh, I say, yeah, perfectly reasonable. I sent out a Skype broadcast every Friday. I send out my Happy Friday list, basically, which is just kind of sending out quotes, um, inspirational sure. quotes, and maybe yeah. a couple of jokes on there, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. But every so often, I'll put a link at the bottom of it, and I invited people to a webinar on a product that a client of mine is uh, is marketing, is selling. Blue box, Lawrence. And invited them to the webinar. Yep. Got about 75 opt-ins that went into the webinar. Got some really positive feedback and got about four sales on the product for them, and over half a dozen or more that says, "Hey, I want to get this. I'm interested in this product." So and that was from one Skype broadcast yeah. on Friday at about five afternoon, five in five in the in the um, five o'clock in the day. Yeah. So Lawrence, one question: Does marketing and networking and list building on Skype work? Oh yeah, that's the most responsive um, that I have, really. I mean, you have to do so much more numbers when you're doing like an email list or, or you're doing pretty much any other medium. Now what does that mean, more numbers? Well, it's kind of like, let, let's say, if you get on an email list, let's say if you get 1% response rate, you did good. That was a good email list. Right. If you did any better than that, you did fantastic. On right. Skype, I mean, you can literally get response rates of 10, 20, 30 percent easily. Or more. Or more. Yeah. Or more. Easily. Yeah. Yeah. Some people yeah. did tests and they were in the hundreds percent. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah. I didn't do those tests. But well, I did a test on it before, <laughs> and a, um, a comparative to an email list, it's 800 to uh, 800 percent more responsive. Than an email marketing, than a good email marketing campaign. Isn't that amazing? So it, you know, and the benefit to building a list and doing follow-up broadcasts to per, you know permission-based to your Skype lists. I'm not talking about just your mm -hmm. Skype contacts, but building targeted lists. And sometimes I'd like to actually talk about what Lawrence does because I think it's brilliant and simple to implement. Uh, but anyways, it's it gets it, it it's good. It's great for business. Oh, it's gotcha. great for business. And it's the, the benefit, there's some benefits and some disadvantages to doing that kind of list building and broadcasting uh, messaging on Skype. Uh, the benefit is that you can interact with them. You know, it's like Skype is in your face, and you you get to the point where when you do a broadcast, you expect response. If you're not getting response, you're not building a responsive list using permission methods. Uh, Lawrence does uh, respond even if he gets hundreds of responses back. Yeah. He will spend the weekend if necessary because he does Friday broadcasts. He will spend. He will get through those, won't you, Lawrence? And make I'm sure you respond. I'm down to seven. I had 150. I'm down to seven left now. <laughs> there you go. So that it's kind of a disadvantage. But I mean, you want if you were building an email list and people emailed you back, wouldn't you want to respond? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Now we can scale some of that with with different strategies. We can encourage people to use a, a desktop. Uh, I'm sorry, a uh, support ticket system to get them back into email and get used to the normal behavior of getting to you one at a time. Or you can just train your Skype contacts that, hey, you've got a big list. These are broadcasts, and I'm going to get to you when I have time, and so there's going to be a delay. But then you can go back and forth and chat with them. You know, with email, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, yeah, I guess i got to respond to that. You respond, and they may or may not even look at your response in their email. You know, with Skype, it's live. So, yeah, you just have to, you know, there's base there's really excellent advantages to Skype marketing and Skype list building and you just have to discipline you have to do what you have to do with anything online which is focus which is a challenge but you have to discipline and manage your time and set aside time that you're going to do this Lawrence let me if you have anything else to say I want to say it but can I first sorry don't forget mm -hmm. um, <laughs> 
Um, can I first talk about what you do? And I know I'm like over. Well, no, I've still got five minutes left of this hour, but I, I want to talk about what you do. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what he did. Now, he, I he's got excellent skills, and that's you know social media, everything, you know, blogging, and he's just an amazing internet marketer. And you need to hook up with him. But what I really want to focus on is the simple thing that he does with his Skype marketing is he basically trains his Skype contacts to expect a message every Friday. So he's very consistent. You have to be consistent with any kind of list building, even if it's social media networking. You want to be consistent. Okay? You don't want a list or a following to go cold. So he's basically, by sending a broadcast out of good content, which is like funny, informative, interesting, non-promotional most of the time, which is what, how you do list building correctly. Uh, he's trained his Skype contacts, and some of them say, no, I don't want it. He puts them in a special list, and he doesn't send the Friday broadcast. But he, most of them, you know, what, 99%, wouldn't you say, Lawrence, are yeah. fine with it. They yeah, even expect most all it. Are fine. They'll bug him, if he, right? Yeah, if I'm, <laughs> if, I, if I'm late or I miss a Friday, I start getting IMs. Hey, what happened to my list? What, what right. happened to my fri happy Friday? Yeah, or or if, I'm, if I miss something and I'll respond back, say, wow, I wonder what happened to you. Where, where'd you go? Very smart use of Skype marketing. And, and it's stuff like this. Like, here's one. Like, I'll send out one of the, like, one of the jokes. Now, this is really stupid, but, you know, hey, and, and, like, question. Why was a math book sad? Answer, I was because it had too many problems. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. But it makes you laugh. laugh, right? Yeah, we're all into health, right? So laughing is good for you. Anyway. <laughs> Even if it's dumb. <laughs> anyway. But that excellent, excellent, simple, simple strategy for Skype marketing. Build a list. Um, start using a broadcast tool to send some kind of good content that's generic enough to every contact of yours. If they don't want to be on that you can get those broadcasts from you once a week, you know, fine, you know, put, put them on a, a do special not broadcast list. Put them on a do not, there are do not broadcast lists in a lot of these Skype tools. So, uh, anyway, that's a very, very simple use of Skype marketing. And, and uh, Lawrence, who is, excels in just about every social media area, marketing area he, he touches, has, has mastered Skype marketing with this very simple technique of just sending. Uh, you know, jokes and philo philosophy and interesting things on uh, every Friday. And it, you know, only occasionally has an ad at the bottom. And he builds relationships with that, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Like, here's another joke. My father liked this one. I have to tell this one. Question. Oh, Carrie, Carrie said, how, wait. How do, oh no, how do crazy people yeah, grow through the, go through the forest? How do crazy people go through the forest? Answer, they take the psychopath. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb. Okay, <laughs> but funny, makes you laugh. Good for you. See, my father, you know my father's a doctor in his psychology, so he got a kick out of that one. Yeah. He loved that one. Uh, yep, yep, that's funny. Okay. Well, I walk that's in the right. forest every day, and I know I'm not normal, so... <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Carrie, Carrie says, yeah, I look forward to Lawrence's Friday messages. They're great. They're great. Add, add Lawrence as a contact. MTG, M-A-N, what is it? Texas man, ah, anyway. I just typed it in. I'll connect you. MTG, M-A-N, T-X. I used to have it memorized, Lawrence. We haven't done webinars. <laughs> oh, we did a million webinars. <laughs> we did so many webinars in 2011 and 12 and some in 13 even. But anyways, yeah. So anyway, that that's it. If you're interested in in seek and send, um, I'll go ahead and blue box me again. Seek and send. I've got a seek and send Skype room uh, for you to join, and I will send you my link, and you can let me know if make sure I get credit for it. Thank you very much. It's only a one-off, so it's not a huge income earner for me, but I feel it is my responsibility to test out all new Skype tools whenever I can. Sorry I got behind last year. There were so many of them that launched all at once and some that quit that I was loving because of the desktop API changes. So um, yeah, if you have any questions about anything Skype related, 
My Skype ID is Julie Wolf, and uh, if you just Google Julie Wolf Skype Coach, you will find me. And I know nothing about SEO, but I am a content creator. I love Skype, and I will help you with Skype. So, see you on Skype, everybody. And uh, thanks, everybody who came live. Goran says, if you get what is it that to be reported to Skype from contacted people, could they? Uh, threaten to be. Um, I think what Goran, we have one more question. You're welcome, Joe. Uh, Goran, um, if enough people, if you go and add a lot of people with Skype Seek and Send, you know, like a lot of people, you know, like if I just kept, kept hitting get page and get page, and, you know, and I have dozens and hundreds of Skype IDs and I do a mass ad contact request, some of those people are going to think that's pretty weird, especially if you don't craft your message generically short, no links, no spam. And I can't believe I still get contacts and the first thing they send me is an ad on Skype. Mm. That Don't do that. Anyway, if, you, if enough of those people report you as doing weird things on Skype, then the Skype can shut you down, which is a good reason not to do this kind of thing with your current Skype, like I just did really quick with this test. I added about 15 or 20 people on Skype, and two of them added me back, this guy and the other guy already, because they have their Skype IDs out there. It's prob on the Internet. They probably want to be contacted on Skype, so it's better, but it's still a... You know, you're you're getting more targeted people. You know, this was done with the keyword um, business. This is social. I should keep these IDs. <laughs> this is social network and Skype IDs. Uh, I did this one with business, and I sent out a broadcast. Uh, I imported them, which added them automatically, and put gate sent a default message, which is not my favorite. So I would recommend you then go over and send a message and tell them why. This is why I am adding you. But yeah, so it's probably, you need to send the message to whoever you want to send it to. It could be one of your lists. It could be, you know, I guess you'd have to add those people that you just added to a list, which be careful because Frank didn't know this, but he, <laughs> the creator of Seek and Send, actually don't do what he did in his video to add people to lists in mass. You'll add them all to a Skype room together, a Skype group chat, and it would be spamming. So be careful about that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's better to not use your main Skype account unless you just want to add a few at a time, like I did <laughs> here. And uh, because you could get your main Skype account shut down. That is covered in the Message Magic 10 Day Challenge. And I think we should probably end, but I will try to load up I can't believe it. I haven't even visited my own site. See you on Skype is my membership site. And uh, if you join, um, you will have access to the 10 day challenge, which does teach you how to use a prospecting Skype account on day one. And the rest of day one uh, is very advanced with using old Skype version 3.8 will cost you at least seven bucks. So um, very extensive, uh, fancy, geeky Skype stuff that you can get my training for just seven bucks or $77 a year if you want ongoing support and coaching from me. So see you on Skype.com here is not loading the banner. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, um, if you're not a member, just know that uh, free members get value and paid members get a lot of value and I haven't raised the beta prices yet. Hopefully I will this year. But uh, see you on Skype everybody. <laughs> Fancy geeky Skype stuff I love. <laughs> Bye everybody. See you on Skype. <laughs>